Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be doing a quick demonstration on how to load a custom gas library for real-time analysis using the GasMat DX4040 FTIR gas analyzer. This demonstration will cover how to load gases from the basic library as well as load gases from the extended library. The rest of this video will take place on the CalcMet software, so let's open that up and get right into it. The first thing we need to do after opening the CalcMet software is navigate to Options and then Application. To create a new library, click the Create New button and title the library with whatever name you wish. For the sake of this demonstration, I will simply call the new library Demo. Once you have titled the library with the name you wish, you can hit OK on both windows. The next step is to select the gases that you wish to analyze in real time. This is done by navigating to Edit and then Analysis Settings. Next, simply check the gases that you wish to detect while unchecking the ones you do not wish to see. Up to 50 gases can be selected in this menu. When you have finalized your selection, press the OK button and you will see your list appear in the Analysis Results window. The default library contains only 25 gases, however the extended library contains over 300. To add a new gas to the library, we need to go back into Edit and then Analysis Settings. Then press the Add Component button. This will create a blank entry at the bottom of the list. Scroll down to find this blank entry, click on it to highlight it. Then we will click the Add button below the Reference Files window. From here, we can search the extended library for the spectrum reference files that correspond to the compound we are looking for. The folder we need to search in is called library search underscore sn, followed by the unit serial number, and it is located at the root of the C drive. For this example, we are going to add butane to the library. To find the reference spectra, we can either manually search through the folder, or we can use the search bar in the upper right corner of the search window. Many gases have very similar names or contain the name of another gas within their name. It's very important to select only the reference spectra files for the exact gas you are looking for, so this is just something to be aware of when performing this step. Once we have found all of the reference files for a gas, we need to select them by clicking on the topmost file, then holding shift and clicking on the bottom file. This will select both files as long as any file is in between them. You can also use control click to highlight all of the files one at a time. When all the files are highlighted, we can click open to load them into the software. This will open the component options window. The component name will automatically be titled with the name of a reference file, so we can simply delete the end of the title so the gas name is displayed properly. This is the only change we need to make in this window, so we can click OK and move on. This next step will detail how to properly set the analysis area for our gas. Highlight the newly added gas in the Gas Components window, then click Analysis Areas. In this window, we will need to edit the analysis areas for the gas to only look for the highest peak. In our example, we can uncheck Analysis Area 1 and 2. Then we will edit area 3 to only show the highest peak in a very small amount of flat area on either side of it. We can use the arrows to shrink or expand the analysis areas on either side of the peak. When the area has been properly edited, we can click OK. We only need to perform this step once for each gas, as the analysis area will apply to every reference file for that gas. All we need to do now is make sure that the new gas is checked in the Gas Components window and click OK. Now you will see the new gas appear in the Analysis Results window and you're ready to begin sampling.
And that's a quick overview on how to load a custom library and set the proper analysis areas for added gases. I hope your testing goes well and you learned a lot from this video. If you'd like to order one of these units from us, you can call us at 866-736-8347 or send us an email at rents at Thanks and have a great day.